Hey there and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the built-in camera feature found in the 3D modeling software Blender. So let's set things up first on Blender in order to access the features of the built-in camera found in Blender. So with Blender installed and running on your computer, we want to click on the edit menu on the upper menu tab and click on Preferences. In the Blender Preferences pop-up menu, we want to go to the Add-ons tab, and on the search bar on the upper right corner, search for Camera. We are doing this just to make sure that the Camera add-on is enabled. Specifically, the add-on which says Camera, which allows us to add camera rigs. Now, after making sure that that add-on is enabled on our Blender program, we can now click on the View option on the upper tab. And as you can see, there is a Cameras option found if we look below. From this menu, you can see that we can set an active object as a camera, choose an active camera, and frame the camera bounds. Now, in order to add a camera to our 3D scene, make sure we're in Object Mode and click on the scene to see the add feature to see the things that we could add. Scroll down this menu until you see camera. And let's go ahead and add the camera to this 3D scene. For the purposes of this video, we're going to go with a dolly camera. The difference between a static camera and a dolly one is that the dolly one allows us to move and create certain moving scenes with the camera's perspective. As you can see, there are a ton of different freeform ways to move your camera and change its perspective and zoom. Feel free to take a minute and just experiment with how the camera is able to move and how you can reposition it wherever you wish on the scene. I would also suggest to familiarize yourself with all the UI elements. For example, the box where the camera is actually pointing towards will show you the perspective of where the camera is facing. Now, let me just quickly add some objects to the scene so the camera actually has something to look at. And alright, I've added certain cylinders and spheres and shapes to the scene so we actually have something like an environment for the camera to work with. Another cool feature is that we can select View on the upper tab, select Cameras, and we can choose the active camera to see a first-person perspective of what the camera will see. While in this perspective, you can see exactly what the camera will see and even reposition and rotate the camera to see whatever we wish for it to see. Now, with the camera selected, on the bottom tab of our screen, we can see that there is now a keyframe that we can use in order to direct the camera and its movement. For example, what we can do is click on the record button, which is the circle icon found below. Set the camera on a location of our choosing on the first frame of the zero second mark on the keyframe. Choose a separate keyframe, for example here, on the 20 second second. And then reposition the camera so that we can create a dolly moving camera rig that goes from one position to the next as the keyframe progresses. Now, once you've done all of those steps, if we click play, you can see that the camera will move as the timer moves as well. Remember, this only really works with the dolly camera rigs and not with any other static camera that we've chosen. And that's really all there is to using the camera features in Blender. You can use it to pose and take proper photos and videos of a frame and a scene that we're using. And truly, the options are quite endless for you to become your own cameraman and director for your 3D modeling scenes. That's all we really have for this video, and thanks so much for watching it again. Comment any questions you have down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and enjoyed this content. We'll see you guys in the next one.